Hello everyone, Seven here. I'm back with another gameplay commentary video. Today is going to be on the, uh, well, Lollipop Chainsaw Remake. So, if you're not, please hit the like subscribe button and help out the channel. So, the, uh, article will be down, linked down below. And let's get into it. Lollipop Chainsaw producer confirms the upcoming remake will leave Juliet's appearance uncensored. Delivering on a ray of light amongst Western entertainment industry growing desire on British censorship. Uh, Chainsaw Repop producer Yoshima Asuda has seemingly confirmed that the upcoming remake will make no alterations on the risky appearance of cheerleader outfit clad protagonist Juliet. In 20, 2012, uh, in 2012, uh, the brand ch brainchild of the story game designer Yoji Sada51 Sada is and eventual Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy James Gunn, a uh, life of follows the titular character and a bubbly blonde haired cheerleader whose 18th birthday was upended when her hometown of San Marino was suddenly overtaken by a zombie in an outbreak. Unbeknownst to the hordes of undead, Juliet and her family had at least a long line of zombies, hunters whose lives were dedicated to fighting back against the exact scenario decapitating her boyfriend, Nick, in order to prevent him from turning, in, tr from turning and preserving his life with a magical spell. Julie attaches a, him to the belt, picks him, it picks up her signature chainsaw and sets out to butcher the world back into normalcy. In addition to the hack and slash, one of Lollipop Chainsaw's most iconic elements is Juliet's outfit. Not only does its colorful youthful appearance serve as a historic visual <coughs> juxtaposition to the sheer amount of gore and despair literally San Marino, but it also plays both over the top camp factor of the game as well as a hyper-materialist hyper satire on the zombie genre. Uh, I'm going to put my two cents into this, but apparently I actually wanted to play this game as a kid. I didn't know it was, you know, an adult thing, but I saw the trailers in this back in 2012 and it looked pretty cool. Uh, but uh, let's dive into Let's finish this. Uh, and to say nothing, the fact that the end of the day, it's a suggestive outfit being worn by an attractive woman, a combination which is always sure to garner a given character some level of fandom and no right. Yes, it does. Sadly, in recent years, it has been a hint of human sexuality and problematic among Western video games and throughout many fans' minds. Repop announced that twenty twenty that July twenty twenty two that they're absolutely going to that they're absolutely going to censor Juliet. Of course, they are. However, it seems in the least that some, that some extent fans can put their particular fears to rest. In the affirmation, Yoshida has obstinately announced that the remake will leave Juliet's appearance, at least in some capacity, unaltered. Taken to Twitter on uh, September 18th, the free pop producer shared a, predict a picture of uh, her most comfortable outfit as a bunny out mascot suit and from our public in both Japanese and English, we will make the we will make uncensored Juliet's costume to meet your expectations. Yes, I'm very happy that some of them, that there are still people here who prefer not to censor anything in today's society. Uh, but yeah, uh, the article continues. The notice statement appears to be that worded slightly different in Japanese, and the machine translation of its original provided. By DL reading, Juliet Custom will also be uncensored to meet your expectations. And that's a good thing. I really don't like it when that happens. But uh, as the article continues, thanks to the comparison of an uncensored caused by the innocence of the fact that the English terms of the of the fact that English is producer's second language is unknown exactly whether Juliet's various office will be uncensored by default or is it Alternate special appearance will be provided. Thankfully, in his last tweet, Yoshida appears to generally committed to his uh, previous announcements. Plans to have remake preserved the game's original identity rather than modified according to the social media discourse. Uh, we do not intend to change this, uh, however, 
No, it was not you, but the producers there for the 2022 shortly V Pub have announced and mentioned that the game will have a more realistic look in the previous announcements meant to refer to how the advanced rendering technology consoles. Yeah, so as I said it before, I really hope that these that the creators of this company don't don't go back on the word and say we're going to change it for blah 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 so that we can put on this console that it's very annoying. Um but yeah, I hate it when these companies like to censor things just for the sake of people who don't initially play the game. And it's basically, basically, if not all, Twitter who likes to do this. So. But I continue, but the continuance uh, to end this on the further explanation, we learned to announce that the Lollipop remake with the Lollipop Chainsaw remake that many fans are worried about the censorship in the game. We have not discussed it yet. The issue is platform holders, and yet thus can't say anything about the topic, but we can say that we intend to negotiate with the platform holders, and uh, the game will the game will be close to the original version as possible. Of course, so it's up to the game holders, uh, or, yeah, the game holders. So, uh, uh, this is very annoying. So you have a game rated thing, the ESG I believe it's called, where you specifically plaster that age demographic on there. For example, there's 18 plus, mature, etc. and everyone in T for teens. Okay, so did, did these companies forget that was a thing? Or does, is or that no longer in use? I don't know. I'm going... Okay. But as of writing this, uh, the difference between Lollipop Chainsaw and Repop is to do the licensing rights. Later's soundtrack will not feature in the six, will not feature sixteen of the original game's seventeen licensed songs. This these delisted tracks include works from such as artists as Dragon Force, Children of the Bonden, Bondum, and Skillrex. Currently under development from Demi and Degrami Games, the sister studio to Lollipops. Original developer Katakawa Games Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is currently on the track to tear away into the current gaming industry 2024. Yeah, so yeah, so that's going to happen. I really hope that this doesn't. I really hope these companies, especially for the one for Lollipop Resol Lollipop Chainsaw producer, doesn't fall back on his word because that's going to be very, very annoying. But, uh, yeah, so, it's the fact that we're tired of these watered-down characters and uh, Twitter complaining about it, who doesn't really play the game. And, uh, to be fair, I'm also in that camp as well. I prefer my, I prefer uncensored. If you want to censor it, Okay, fine, censored, but if you also want, allow us to give us the options to have it uncensored or censored. That way, everybody's happy, I guess. Uh, come on now, it's not that hard. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. And also, I meant to tell you that, uh, um, apparently I found out that Dragon's Dogma was announced two months ago, and I just found, and it was just under the radar, apparently. That's a game I'm looking forward to. But with that said, I'll have the link down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Zaron is out of here.